year six, I'm here to explain all of your home learning for this week. Now, hopefully you've already seen on the channel, our YouTube channel, that there is a celebration assembly video. They're just some of the photographs that people have sent in of their fantastic learning. Keep those coming, teachers really do love seeing those. Right, into this week then. Your maths for this week is all to do with algebra, all of your white row sheets here that you'll recognise. You don't need videos for these, so you don't need to look anywhere else. They should be quite self-explanatory, those tasks. And there's one for each day and a mental arithmetic paper as well to keep your arithmetic skills super sharp. So have a go at those. There's a maths challenge here called Slick Gym if you want a little bit more challenge. And there's a bit of help there on how to answer it. Also, there is... Two different reading comprehensions for this week. The first is Robert Louis Stevenson. It's a poem. I have a little shadow that goes in and out with me and what can be the use of him is more than I can see. Give this a go. And there's three different levels of challenge as well as there have been every week for you to choose where your reading level is at. So poem first of all. The second one is linked to history. Hopefully you've been doing my history task for the last couple of weeks that I've been putting on the YouTube channel for you. It's all to do with housing after the Second World War, which links so well with the history task that we've got for this week. So I'll just briefly talk about that one next. Here is, at the bottom, our history task for this week. The sheet looks like this. It's all to do with how housing has changed and high-rise living. Two video links on there for you to watch. Please go to my other video that's on YouTube today. It just looks like the Union Jack the thumbnail picture of it, which will explain that task in more detail. So if you're up for doing some history today, watch that video next. Moving on from that, Mrs Wood's art task also links to the history. It's all to do with pop art. She'd like you to do some research into what pop art was. Now this was very, very popular and very, very modern in the 1960s. So have a little look at this task. You can do some internet research, you can create a poster, you can create a mind map, you can present it however you want to. You could focus it on particular, particularly a pop artist of the time. It's up to you. So there we have that. Also, as well as the art, we have a very interesting computing challenge for you. Now, in computing, year six are going to be starting their movie makers unit, and that is using stop motion studio now this is an app that works on android it works on iphone it works on ipad so you shouldn't have a problem being able to use it at all there's a tutorial video here on the sheet which is linked that you can go and find out how to use it but your task is to create a short film and i mean short probably less than a minute about a topic of your choice i'll show you the sort of thing that we mean so this is the software here ZU3D, create amazing movies. There are tutorials on here you can watch as well to find out how to use the software. You'll be able to see films that other people have uploaded that they've made using the software. And we can have a little look through and see the sort of thing that they're able to achieve. Which one shall we watch? Quite like this one. It's using a little Lego character, which some of you might choose to do yourselves. You might have Lego characters around your house that you can use really slickly done. They are quite entertaining, it's good fun to do. So give that computing task a go. Right then, back to the drive, what else do we have this week? So, I think our last thing to mention as I come right to the top here is all to do with there's a usual spelling, there's a usual spag, all of those things are standard. There is a writing task here, Strange Day in July, another Harris Burdick mystery. Now, once you've had a look at the task on here, head over to Mrs Thornley's video on YouTube and she will explain the task to you and show you how to be really successful in your writing. So that's your English for this week. Last thing that I haven't mentioned then, I think, is the steam challenge for this week. See if you can get this to work. All you're going to need is a jar of water, a circle of card and a coin. And what you're going to try to do is test Newton's first law that says that an object at rest will remain at rest unless acted upon by an outside force. 
lots of amazing learning in there for you to do this week. So see what takes your fancy for the day, make the schedule of your week up, see which tasks you're gonna do on which days, and keep sending in that home learning to us so we can see what you're getting up to at home. So good luck.